So you're probably all wondering how I managed to build a board 80 dual motor off-road skateboard for 350 quid. It's simple. If you want to work on a tight budget and you're determined to do something, then it can be easily done. So let's start with the first thing, the basics. The board itself, not including any electrics, just the board, the trucks and the wheels. I paid 40 quid for the board. So that's a scrub deck, pretty decent. Uh, it was pretty much like brand new, the person hardly ever rode it. So I thought, absolute steal, I'm getting that. So the next thing I needed was motor mounts, pulleys, motors, set up the, the, you know, the back end basically, the business end. Now, I didn't know what exact, you know, mounts I should get, I didn't know what would work, and I just I just saw this as someone who was beginning to, you know, looking at building a board, but don't really want to spend like a lot of money. I was looking at all the different prices of all the different motor mounts, and it was just all adding up. I jumped on AliExpress, and luckily enough, I found a full, uh, full rear assembly. That is the wheels, the pulleys, the belts, the motors, the truck, all came as one unit. Now I paid, I think it was 220 quid at the time, but it was on sale. I think at the minute now it's gone up to 240 for that same setup, but obviously I only paid that, so this is where the board, I managed to get the board for 350. So I paid 220 for that back end, I think it's just a little bit more expensive now, so that's that. The ESC. Now the ESC I got for this was just the box standard dual motor ESC that they sell in China. Now it's a robust ESC, I have absolutely beaten the life out of the ESC. Now the ESC is in this box here. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen so you can see which one it is. It does come with a remote as well, which is a bonus and you get all that in for like 35 quid if you're ordering from China, which I think is pretty decent if you ask me. Um, so that's the ESC and the remote. The box there, which is an old bricked Android box. I still need to 3D print something off like that. But as I say, you know the old Android boxes with the USB ports on it that you get a uh, Android TV and stuff like that on? Yep, just one of them. I took the part, I took the insides out, I replaced it with my ESC and it works a treat and I think it looks absolutely fine on the board. So that's another really thing, as I say, if you want to, you know, if you really want to cut corners and try and keep the costs low, just look around, see what you've got. The wire for this board is just like, you know, old wire that you've like cut off a microwave or something, you know, if you've got an old, some broke, something like that, or you don't mind cutting the wire or something, there's your wiring that's, you know, sorted. As long as you've got decent thick wire that was designed for something that was like high powered, like obviously like an electric cooker or something that, you know, requires a lot of power because you do need quite thick wires if, you know, you're running quite a high power setup on the board. So that's the ESC, the board, and the back end setup. Obviously, I'd say the back end setup comes with the motors as well, that's all included. You literally get six wires coming out off, off the back end setup and then your phase wires that you run into the ESC that's sorted. You might have to pick yourself up a little switch but some of the ESCs do actually come with a switch so that's it there's your on and off button. So the batteries what I've got underneath here is two 36 volt hoverboard batteries now these hoverboard batteries I got these from people who were selling their broke hoverboards now I bought bought two hoverboards and each hoverboard has one 36 volt pack in it which is 20 cells and two uh two parallel so 10s 2p that's 36 volt to get a decent amount of range i wanted at least two so what i did is i got two broke hoverboard bolters uh, hoverboards and i obviously resourced the batteries and used the batteries in the board so all I did was get a couple of XT90 connectors, uh, made myself a parallel lead because you want these in parallel because they're both 36 volts so you want to keep these in parallel and not series because series doubles the voltage. We don't want to double voltage here, we want to keep it 36 volt but we just want to give ourselves more amperage and basically more range. So we put them in parallel and we put them on the board. So that's 40 quid for them two batteries. If you can't find any broken hoverboard batteries, you can go on AliExpress and you can get them for, I think like 35 quid each, which is a little bit more than what I paid, but as I say, my build cost me 350. If you can be resourceful, you can get it at the same price, so you've just got to look around. So just, that's the batteries for me. The next thing that you needed to do on this, once you've done all your connectors and wired it all up and plugged everything in, 
is have something to put your electronics in. As I said, I use that ES for the, I use the Android box there for the ESC. Works perfectly fine. It's never had a problem. I've been out in all rain, water, everything. Perfect. I've luckily, I've got a 3D printer. Um, 3D printer, I can design, print anything that I need. So I need a battery enclosure that'll house two of them batteries. Just basically got the file, whack that onto my 3D printer and just let it print. Once that was printed, I had a fully, well, I wouldn't say 100% waterproof enclosure or anything, because I had to print it off in two stages, but you can print this off all in one part. Just screwed that down to my board with the batteries in, made sure it was all fully padded and didn't bang anywhere. And then that's pretty much it. How much did it cost me for a roll of filament? What, 15 quid? For a roll of filament, probably less than that. So give or take, you're looking just over 350 quid for this build. You know, obviously for the little bits of odds and ends, but there's really not much. It's only a couple of quid more. But there you have it, that's it for the budget, absolutely beastly looking, all-terrain electric skateboard build. Uh, I'll probably leave some of the links, well, I won't leave some of the links, I'll leave all the links down in the description, so if you want to check them out and get buy the parts for yourself for this particular build, you can do that, I'll leave the bits down there. Yeah, I hope you liked this video, if you did like this video, hit that like button, share and subscribe, because it really does help, and yeah, catch you in the next one, guys.